Hello and welcome to PassKit. Today I'll show you how to create digital event tickets for your business. You'll have full control to manage and distribute tickets directly to your customers. Whether you're handling regular event tickets, season passes, or hosting events at multiple venues, our platform makes the process simple and effective. Digital event tickets can be used for a wide range of experiences. Take concerts, for example. Whether it's a small venue or a large festival, you can easily send digital tickets straight to your attendees' phones, ready for instant access. Season passes are another great use case. Fans can store their tickets digitally, making it easy to attend multiple events or games without needing physical passes. And for museums, digital tickets simplify the entry process, allowing visitors to focus on enjoying the exhibits without the hassle of paper tickets. We're trusted by leading brands worldwide to provide reliable digital ticketing solutions. To get started, you can click on the link in the description and sign up for a 45-day free trial to test out all of PassKit's features and see if it's right for you. There's no obligation or commitment required during this period. Once you've signed up, you'll be directed to your dashboard. Simply click on Create New to begin the process. As we are creating an event ticket, we will choose Basic Event Ticket. We have also provided you with an example movie ticket template for you to test as well. OK, let's press Basic Event Ticket and then press Create Pass. We are now in the Pass Kit Designer. Here you will see the Google Wallet and the Apple Wallet. Both of these will need to be completed. On the left-hand side, you will see the Add Item section. This will be where you can drag and drop your information into the pass. You will have options to add details like name, gate, section and row. The next section is Themes. This is where you will add your logo, change background, add image thumbnails and create the design of the pass to fit your brand identity. Make sure you use the correct dimensions that are shown. For the event pass, we can place and strip image. Here is where you can add images that really show your business's design. The thumbnail image will be placed on the first row, similar to the example provided. We will also be able to set a background image instead of using a color for the background. Finally, you can change the color theme of the pass background. Title. And text. The next section we will take a look at is barcodes. You can set the type of barcode you want to place on the pass for your customers to scan. You have a choice of QR code. Aztec, PDF 417, and code 128. Below this are options to enter your encoded barcode content and also add text below the barcode on the pass. You can choose to add a rotating barcode for more security, but it must be either QR code or PDF. If you're looking for NFC technology, then you can go through the steps for this too. We will now take a look at the details section. Here is where you can add application links within the pass and turn on and off automatic updates and notifications. The part below is where you can add content to the back of the digital pass. Currently, we only have details for when doors will open to the event and the event end time. I would like to add an information section where I can add more content and provide links to my website, social media, or a map of the venue my customers are going to. Add the content in the display value section. Before we start creating our digital event ticket, we are going to go through some sections. First, we are going to go to Settings within the Pass Creator. We will see options to change the template name. 
description, time zone. and the default language. We also have options for the Google Wallet and the Apple Wallet. Let's go back to our designs. Here we can add different type of ticket types like standard or VIP. The schedule section will be where you can edit the venue, time, date and the amount of tickets that you're selling. We are going to the Tickets section. This is where you can add tickets manually to distribute to your customers. Or if you have large amounts of data, you can import with CSV. The last section we are going to look at is the Settings. In the Production Details, we can change the production name and the fine print of the pass. In the production settings, you can choose when you want the tickets to be deleted. Once they are redeemed, at the end, or when they expire. In the production email settings, you can edit the email content that will be sent to new customers with their digital tickets. You can change the subject, the sender of the email, the main email content, and the style of the button to your preferred liking. Next we have integrations. With Zapier you can connect PassKit event tickets to the tools you already use, like Google Sheets, Gmail or Stripe. This allows you to automate tasks such as issuing tickets when a form is submitted, sending email notifications when tickets are created, or generating tickets based on updated rows in Google Sheets. These workflows help you save time and ensure your processes stay organized. Another great feature is webhooks. Webhooks allow for real-time notifications on changes to your tickets. This lets you track customer actions like adding or deleting their pass. Finally, we have the Pass API. This is what you use to connect your projects to your third-party apps like email communication, CRM, and event management software. OK, let's start creating the digital event ticket. First, we should edit the ticket type. I have chosen general admission. Next, we need to go to the schedule section to set the date, time and venue that we will hold this event. Complete this section. Venues that you create will be stored automatically so that you can use the details again for other programs. Now provide the address the event will take place at and how many tickets you're selling. Finally, we need to make sure we complete the start, end and open doors times. OK, everything looks good. Now we're going to go back to ticket types and design the event pass. I'm going to change the background color of the pass first. We can choose from the drop down menu for the color. I know the hex code I want, so I'm going to place that in. Next, I'm going to place the logo of the pass. I'm also going to add a strip image to this pass. We will also make the changes in the Google Wallet as well. Make sure to use the correct dimensions for the logo. OK, let's add the logo. 
In the Google Wallet, you will also need to add the organization name at the top. We will also upload the strip image to the pass. OK, now we are going to change the items of the pass. First, we will change the event name. We will now add and rearrange the items to the preferred location and add other items if needed. We want the ticket type to go onto the front of the pass. I also want to add the gate, seating and row to the front of the pass. You'll be given the option to specify unique information for each ticket, such as seat numbers and other details. We are going to change the label of the row to include seat. This will allow us to include both into the front of the pass. I'm happy with the position of the items on the front of the pass. Let's focus on adding information to the back of the pass. We are going to the present field section, as we have created this field earlier. I'm going to place text within the display value box. Here you can put information related to your event, links to your website and social media pages. Click Save and we will move on to the Apple Wallet section. Let's go to the Apple Wallet to complete the items there. First we will add the lock screen image. And then position our items in the chosen locations. I would like to put the event start time item where the venue item is. Google Wallet allows for items to be placed in the top right as well. So I will place the venue there. I'm going to remove the address from the front of the pass. I will move the ticket type next to the event start time. We now need to place the seating, gate and row items in the second row. As we have added these in the Google Wallet, they will be in the present field section. We now have all our items in the locations that we want them. Make sure to press save and we will move on to distributing the pass. Press designs at the top left to return to the dashboard, then press tickets. Let's add a ticket to provide an example of the final pass that customers can receive. Add the ticket number and other details in. Details like ticket numbers or row assignments are automatically set up to display on the pass for each specific ticket. The last two options are the event type, where we input the date and time and venue in the occurrence section, and the ticket type, where we can choose to have more than one type of ticket. Press Create Ticket. Manually entering these details can be time consuming. Instead, importing a CSV file with all your customer tickets is the most efficient way to manage this process. Now we want to see the ticket on our mobile phone. Click Other Actions and then press Pass your... We will be directed to a link with a QR code. If you scan the link, then you can add the ticket to your wallet. Once you or the customer has added the event ticket to the wallet, you will be able to access your ticket on the Google or Apple wallet. Any changes that you make before the event will be updated in real time.